Hey there, how are you doing? We welcome you all to the hands-on impressions video, the Windows 10 anniversary update, cumulative update build 14393.67. So the build 14393.67 being a cumulative update to the RTM build 14393 does not bring any major features or changes, but it brings many fixes and improvements over the last build. So if you uh, talk about the older uh, 14393.67, variant builds i mean most of them have been quite uh, responsive they have been fast and they have been stable so what this build brings over them is like a few important improvements so one is in terms of the battery life another is in terms of bluetooth so we'll come to that but before going to that let's talk about the installation experience of this build so the installation experience of the build has been quite good on many of our devices we installed the build and it took around 25 to 30 to 35 minutes for us depending upon the device and network speed to uh, get this build installed now uh, it's quite good that uh, microsoft has sorted it out so well and we expect that when the actual anniversary update release goes out to all the non insiders it remains as smooth or it happens as smoothly now coming to uh, the changes or fixes or improvement that we were talking about so if we go to the battery life Part. so you can easily see like uh, i mean what you see here of 63 percent and 24 hours it's somehow kind of indicative of all the older builds as well not only this build but we have run this build for uh, more than 40 hours and we can tell you that this build is really good in terms of battery life you can kind of if you have been facing battery life issues you will see some kind of improvement but in our case we our uh, i mean in our case the battery life has been quite good on our devices so we can just feel you that it's kind of same so it, it goes i mean it can be slightly better but it's really difficult to tell how much better so i mean in our case so it's lumina 640 xl it's giving really a stellar battery life to me with this build it's lasting like 30 hours or something like that so it's quite good so now coming to another thing which is another improvement which is in <clears throat> terms of bluetooth so as per the uh, change log microsoft has fixed the issues around the bluetooth so earlier if you kind of uh, do on or off a of bluetooth you can you know face issues like screen going i mean getting frozen etc again this is not uh, uniform so maybe uh, many of you did not face this issue many of you may have faced this issue of you know skin getting frozen or uh, device getting hanged while doing on or off but here we don't we don't see uh, any such issue so if you have been facing issue with bluetooth around the bluetooth you may feel that this build is there to sort out these issues and it works well obviously we have our own issues with the blue how the bluetooth looks like on windows 10 mobile we have uh, time and again kind of raised this issue in our reviews hands-on that microsoft soft should try to you know improve the ui or user friendliness of the ui it's not quite uh, intuitive so <clears throat> there may be a kind of thing so where you will see devices how you can actually try to manually detect devices etc you don't see those kind of uh, you know I mean at least you should have the feature to manually try to manually detect the device also when you connect a device you should be prompted to find out whether you want it to automatically connect next time or you don't so you should be you should be provided some kind of options so those are missing actually which we think actually uh, Microsoft should try to improve upon So, uh, so with that, let's go to the I mean, uh, multitasking performance, responsiveness, etc. So we will just kind of find it. So we talked about the two major improvements that the build promises: the battery life and the Bluetooth, and it looks good actually. Though we would uh, say that battery, I mean Bluetooth around the Bluetooth, there may be more improvements or suggestions which can actually help in uh, getting more user friendliness. Now, <clears throat> coming to how the build behaves. So let's open some apps. Let's talk about, let's open some games. Let's find out how it behaves actually.
So if you remember, we have a demo that if a game is optimized to Windows 10 Mobile, it, it I mean the whole multitasking, the whole experience of the gaming is really improved. You would really enjoy it because I mean you can just send the game to the background and resuming the game from the background is like very very instantaneous. We are compared to Android, the Android latest Android Android 7.0 and it kind of can compare very well. Let's send the back game to the background. Let's open the browser and see how the browsing will work. We can quickly check something else. We can check the HTML5 score as well. Kind of it's acceptable so it's a kind of acceptable and respectable score though um, you can expect i mean we have expected it to even do better but it's good so when we now go to the browsing part so you can actually notice that microsoft is has been uh, i mean has kept on improving so it has added uh, this cool swipe to navigate feature and panning zooming etc remains top notch even if you compare to any of the browsers you will feel that i mean the basics like panning zooming scrolling etc remains good the browser load space is quite fast renders them easily faster than ever before but again then there are improvements around the tab management still we think like every tab you need to go and close so maybe something like uh, I mean swiping down to close would be a better option so because we swipe down to close the multitasking card so it's better that if uh, Microsoft can provide something around that it will be amazing so as you can notice the gaming resume from the multitasking from background remains quite good actually quite impressive we can quickly check the scrolling etc and you will feel that it's good actually So as again, uh, you could have noticed in our during our hands-on time, most of the things are like all of the things rather I will say that are working fine. Hardly any, I mean any freeze or hardly any lag anywhere. It all uh, now it seems or feels like a kind of daily driver build where you I mean you can live with it. So basically, uh, most of the bugs which are like annoying bugs around battery life, Bluetooth are getting fixed. This build really looks promising. So we'll finally check a video, we'll try to run it and then we can then
Sanchez. So that's where you can see the, I mean, most of the things that you would like to do with, I mean, do on your smartphone, multitasking, gaming, uh, video watching, the kind of scrolling and uh, browsing, etc. Everything like kind of works fine with this build. Even uh, we see that the improvement that have been mentioned in change log are there. So still, I mean, we can tell that there are more improvements which are required around the Bluetooth part, especially. So, but that's, I mean, having said that the build really looks stable fast and responsive and ready for the prime time so it's look like a good daily driver build which you can really live with so with that we come to end of this video hope you have liked the video and our hands-on review with the build 1439 3.67 stay tuned for more keep watching